Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome to another Crafty Decor Adventure. Olivia here, Olivia is from Ant Tech Home. And in today's video, I am so excited to share with you guys another episode in my I Love Spring series. I'll be sharing with you guys some DIY, Dollar Tree, and budget-friendly decor crafts. Hey, listen, if you guys love to craft and decorate on a budget, I would love to invite you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That will enter you in my $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. And don't forget to pop over to my Olivia's from Ant Tech Home a Facebook page. We are having so much fun over there crafting and decorating. I even have created a free little group page for you guys to share photos of your home decor and DIY projects. So I know you guys are here for the crafting and decorating. Without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. For the first Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys how to make a super adorable three-tiered Dollar Tree lemon stand. So I'm taking some of these Dollar Tree lemon plates and these candlesticks. I got this one at the thrift store, and I'm just going to use some hot glue, and I'm going to hot glue the candlestick flipped upside down onto the base of the plate. And that way, um, you'll have more room on your little cake stand or dessert stand or sandwich stand, or you can just put some fun decor on it. Now, I will tell you guys, too that you may want to use some E6000 glue or Gorilla Glue, something that's a bonding glue if um, you're going to be using this for um, something that's more permanent than what I'm sharing with you guys. So if you guys are going to be using this for like um, a celebration or anything like that, you need to use somewhat of a bonding glue. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is add in a shorter candlestick, and this I did find at the Dollar Tree, and then I had this cute little bowl, and I thought that would be perfect at the top. Um, these are really fun. I use them for decor, or you could put, um, you know, wrap goodies on them, or you could put them by your coffee station. You guys are probably going to see um, three-tier trays by my coffee station this season, um, especially when summertime rolls around. And here is how it turned out. Now, to style this, I put some cute little limes in the top, and then off Amazon, I had ordered these little citrus slices. So they're limes and oranges and lemon. I just sprinkled that around and then I popped in some cute little napkins. And then that bless my garden sign that is from Dollar Tree as well. Um, and really, again, you guys can style this however you want. And Dollar Tree always carries some type of cute play. I also grabbed some last season that had this really pretty blue print pattern on them. They'll have all kinds of seasonal ones. They'll have sunflowers and Christmas ones and fall leaves. So keep an eye out. I always check every single time I go to my local Dollar Tree. I always check and see what kind of plates they have out. And so my store will have plates out in that first center spot when you first come into the store and then they'll have them down the aisle as well. So this is just a fun idea for how you guys can create a three-tier tray on a total budget. I mean, it probably cost maybe about six bucks um, total to create this entire thing. So I think that's a fun and fabulous little idea on a total budget. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys how you can take those little self-adhesive faux tile stickers that you can find at Dollar Tree. I find them in the hanging up section um, and like the bathroom stuff. That's where my store has them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some chalk paint and this is kind of like a creamy white chalk paint and I'm just going to begin by adding a really light layer. Now I would suggest that if you guys are going to be using this in an area that's going to get any kind of traffic, you want to lay down a layer of Mod Podge on your adhesive tile, um, the faux tile thing first, and then you can add your paint and then probably another layer of Mod Podge on top of that. The next thing I wanted to do is kind of highlight and make this a little bit kind of like a farmhousey look. Um, so I'm just using some black paint and I'm going to line the grout areas here. Now, once I got done with that, I realized I think I would have preferred this to use like a lighter gray. I think the black was just a little bit too much, but I don't know. You guys are gonna have to let me know how what you think. And I also needed to have used um, a paint that kind of adhered to this better. This was, I, I believe, a chalkboard paint, which is the only black I had on hand. Um, but basically, I'm just sharing with you guys kind of what you can do with it. Maybe not the best application, but give me some grace here. Um, 
But I think it is a fun idea. I know I saw this on a TikTok a couple of weeks ago and they had used like an orangey color and then a white in the grout part. And you guys are going to see Benji Bear. You guys are going to hear him in the room here with me. Um, but anyway, um, a really fun, fabulous little idea on a budget. And here's how it looks popped into my little setting. Um, I just decorated this with some fun little kind of summertime goodies. I don't have a photile wall that I need to put this on, but it would be a fun idea if you were decorating maybe like a little laundry room space or a kitchen space and you wanted to make like a cute little photile idea or even just adhere this to a big piece of poster board like a couple of these and make it into like a little backdrop for a fun little party setting. I don't know. I always have so many crazy ideas but you guys this is just an idea for how you guys could use this and again use any chalk paint color or any color that you have on hand that you love so just a fun little idea using some of those Dollar Tree faux tile stickers and they this one did have a complete sticker on the back I know I bought them before and they didn't have the entire sticker on the back <laughs> but you never know what you're gonna get sometimes with the good old Dollar Tree For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to show you guys how to make a super adorable little calendar Dollar Tree sign. So I love grabbing these Dollar Tree calendars because for a buck and some change, you guys have so many different fun ways you can make um, a cute sign with some of the little Dollar Tree calendar pages. So I love to frame them. I also love to Mod Podge them to some old Dollar Tree signs. So this is just like an old Christmas sign that I wasn't going to use that I had on hand. And I had just traced out the size of the sign basically um, and then what I'm going to do is just Mod Podge it to the front of this. Now I will tell you that the calendar and Mod Podge do not go well together if you put too much Mod Podge on the original sign. So I did make that mistake but I am going to go ahead and cut out the size of the um, you can probably hear Benji Bear in the background. He has really wanted my attention. But anyway, I'm cutting out the size of the little calendar and then I'm going to Mod Podge that to the front of the sign. Now you can tell right here that the I used way, way, way too much Mod Podge. And my Mod Podge had something stickery in it too. So that was a little bit of a trouble. But hey, I soldiered on and ended up making a really cute little sign. Okay, so once I got done with this, I realized I needed it to have like a little bit of a thicker backing to it because because I wanted to take some rope and kind of line it with some rope. And so I went ahead and just used the cardboard that was inside of the calendar. And then I'm going to hot glue the rope in and around the entire little sign. So anyway, um, just a fun little idea you guys could do. It's not super fancy and it has some bumps and bubbles, but that's kind of how life is, isn't it? Sometimes it can't always be super fancy and sometimes there's definitely some bumps and bubbles, but you know, you guys can take a pretty piece of craft paper and do this. Um, you can take a cute little, just pretty much anything you find you want to make into a sign, but especially those calendars. Now just don't look too closely because of my bumps and bubbles, but hey, I even have bumps and bubbles on my legs and Whatnot, and I still give myself some grace and just go with it. You know, it's fun, fabulous. It's a budget friendly idea and worst case scenario, you can use it for a season and pass it on or toss it. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, I, this is just for a fun idea for you guys, but I popped it into my little setting here. I used some of my Pioneer Woman pans and a little stir, um, uh, measuring spoons and then my little three-tier stand that I made and then the cute little bless my garden sign. I think there's some really cute little garden signs out right now so I hope you guys are inspired to create something fun and fabulous for yourselves.
for this next DIY, I want to show you guys how to make a super easy little lantern bow. So I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm just going to loop the ribbon over on itself a couple of times. You can even measure the ribbon from your hand to your elbow and then pinch it off in the center and then wrap a little zip tie around it. And that'll get you guys just a quick and easy little bow. And you can do this with multiple different ribbons and make layers, make some of the loops a little bit smaller and that will help you guys with that. So I'm just gonna trim off the ends here. So to dovetail my ribbon ends, I like to just take and cut in an upwards triangle and then I'll have a cute little ribbon and then I can zip tie that to the top of my lantern. And then the next thing I wanted to add was just some fun little greenery. I'm gonna add a pop of greenery to the top here and then another little pop to kind of have it cascade down the side of the lantern. And then I'm just gonna zip tie that little ribbon to the top. And you guys can get really creative with this. Make this in a spring fashion or really whatever suits your fancy. Now I found this wired ribbon at Walmart. Um, they actually had quite a bit of really good Easter ribbon. I have not been shopping for my Easter ribbon yet. I feel like I already have quite a bit of ribbon. I'm trying to push myself to use what I have, but I think probably ribbon and florals is one of my biggest weaknesses. I love to pick up new ribbon. And I just knew that this would be perfect for the upcoming spring season. And I feel like the khaki check ribbon um, can pretty much go with anything. Now I'm taking some extra little blue and white gingham check ribbon, and I'm just gonna wrap that around the center part of my bow. And then I'm gonna take some little tulips and hot glue the tulips to the top of the centerpiece of my bow and ribbon. And then there you guys have that like a little blooming summer floral. So fun and fabulous. And just think about this. So you guys can really change this up and use whatever florals you have on hand that you want to decorate with. Use whatever colors you have. And then I'm going to even add a little bit more ribbon, same style of bow, and I'm going to pop that in to the center of my little ribbon and whatnot. And then there you guys have that, a fun little easy cascading lantern floral on a budget. I know I see these at my local grocery store and they are so expensive. Now the lantern is super cool and it did come from Hobby Lobby. So since they don't have their normal ongoing coupon, you just kind of have to wait for things to go on sale. Um, but I did find this on sale last season, so hopefully they have some really cute lanterns this season as well. I hope you guys are inspired to decorate one of your favorite lanterns on a budget. For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to show you guys how you can take one of these cute little Dollar Tree jar signs, and these actually were set out last fall, but Dollar Tree always seems to set out some kind of little fun sign, so a lot of times I like to kind of just redo the sign and make them a little bit cuter and a little bit more to my style of whatever decor I'm decorating for. So for the summer season, I'm going to be using some cute blues and yellows. I found this ribbon on Amazon, and so I ordered this actually last season. I'm just kind of coming to the end of my rope with it. I do have some other blue ribbon that I cannot find, but I just took and made a quick little loopy bow. So you just loop the ribbon over on itself, pinch it in the center, and then I'm gonna take and make tails right here, and I'm just gonna cut in an upwards direction and then hot glue that over to the side. Um, and so I'm just gonna hot glue that right here, and then there you guys have that. And this is just a fun little easy way. You guys can do this to some of the little Dollar Tree signs and then just pick some little goodies that you might want to decorate your bow with. I like to add in some little greenery pieces. So there's just like some little bit of eucalyptus greenery. I'm gonna pop it into the center of this and then hot glue a cute little lemon to the center of that. And then boom, you guys have a cute little customized sign on a total budget. You guys, I think this is so fun and fabulous and just absolutely Absolutely adorable it's gonna match in with my little lemon summer season of goodness and just think you guys can take this and really make this your own use any style of ribbon or whatnot that you guys have on hand and there you guys have that some cute little citrus goodness and greenery and ribbon and it's just so cute. I just love starting to decorate for a new season. It just makes me so happy. It brings a smile to my face. And I hope this brings a smile to your face as well.
this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys a fun little idea on how to kind of recover a cardboard little box here. So I'm taking these little note cards and they're super cute. I found them at Tuesday morning, but I just thought it'd be so cute to make a covered box. I've been decorating with a lot of blue and white, and I thought this might give you guys an idea on how you could take any, really any little cardboard box and cut up some pretty paper or note cards and just create a little decorative box for yourself. I think these are nice to have, you know, just to put little trinkets in or to have displayed out and about, you know, next to your bedside table to put some little goodies in. You could fold up some tissues and put them in them. I'm going to use them, them kind of like a silverware caddy. I thought that would be a fun idea as well. But again, you guys can just get totally creative with this. And I'm just basically using hot glue and I'm just taking the note cards and cutting them to fit the size of the box. And then the note card just folds over. And so you don't even have to do the inside really. Um, I didn't hot glue the inside, but if you want to, I guess you could also use um, some glue on the inside. And then I'm also just using some of the extra scrap pieces, no scrap piece left behind to decorate the top of the box. And then there you guys have that, a totally cute little box um, made on a budget. Now Dollar Tree carries this really nice little kind of crisscross rack ribbon here. And so I'm just going to use this along the sides of the box and then you know, just kind of double that debt down. I think it's fun also to trim things out. It makes them look just a little bit nicer and more cohesive. So I'm using that in this space as well. Here is how I styled this box. I popped in some silverware and boom, we have a fun little box on a budget. You guys definitely comment down below and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video and which one will you be recreating? I am so excited to hear how everybody's doing right now. How are you decorating your home right now? What colors are you using? I think spring and summer is such a fun season and I just wanna welcome it with so much joy and I love y'all so, so much and thank you guys for being here. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is such a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Remain Tech Home and I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. I truly believe that you do not have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. And for everybody that comes back and loves on me and that has just loved on me this whole YouTube journey. I've been on YouTube. I think that this is going to be my fourth season. Thank you guys for being here. The fact that you guys enjoy my videos and my voice and my crafting and uh, my encouragement. I am so blessed and honored to just bring what I love to um, your homes and your friends and family. So I just wanted to encourage you guys to keep up the good work, crafting and decorating, and no matter where you're at in your life's journey, keep putting one foot in front of the other. I know that there is a lot going on, especially in the last couple of years in our world for everybody. I don't think anybody has been unaffected. So I just want to um, bring grace and love to your situation wherever you're 
at and know that you are loved and prayed for. And if you guys need prayer, drop it in the prayer um, in the comment section below. Remember, we all have a voice for good if we're on a social media platform, which you guys are on a social media platform right now watching this video. So when you're interacting with your friends and loved ones online, please remember to be kind. Always leave kind comments because you don't know what anybody is going through in one day or the next day or the next. And so when we leave our indelible footprint of goodness and grace and mercy and kindness when we are speaking to one another, whether it be text or online or in a comment section, just remember that those words echo forever. So I just want to encourage you guys in that manner and also just tell you guys, I love you all so much. I'm so thankful to have you all here. I would love to have you guys be part of my Livia's Romantic Home community here. Um, all you have to do is subscribe to the YouTube channel, punch that bell, and if you click all, it will update you every single time I post a new video. Um, I post several DIY videos a week on YouTube as well as several a day over on Facebook. Now I do have an Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook page. I also have a free group page you all can join and post photos of your home decor and DIY projects. Now listen, I'm a one woman show, so it's just me and my camera and you guys. So always please give me grace as much as possible. I do as much as I can to keep up with all of this, um, but maintaining my authentic um, just goodness of bringing what I have just straight directly to you. Um, so anyway, thank you guys for being here. I love y'all so, so, so much. I am so thankful for you. So remember until our next video, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. We'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye. I've come out here to say.